Hey, this is Nicholas with the Backyard Tardis here with another Adventures in Locksmithing. Uh, this time talking about when I've needed a locksmith. Um, you know, growing up, when I was a teenager, first started driving, first started going to work, I would constantly lock my keys in the car. My mom would have to go on my commute and bring the keys. And after I did that a couple of times, uh, my dad called and found out how much it was to do it and made me pay my mom the amount it would have cost me to get a locksmith and that straightened me out. However, unfortunately, that is not the last time I got locked out. I've done it since becoming a locksmith and that can be quite embarrassing. Uh, so I've got two stories here. The first one, I um, was first, one of my first months out, uh, out in the field. I was kind of uh, put into the frying pan, so to speak. Um, three months of training, some of the other guys quit, and everybody was booked up, and we had a school. The principal had gotten his key swiped, need to rekey the whole school. So I go out there, and what I was doing was taking um, about four classrooms worth of locks off at a time, going back to my van, rekeying it, and what I would do is I would you know, have all the locks in my hands, I would open the door with a key, and then I would just dump everything down on my workbench. And then I would, when I was done, I would scoop everything up, hit the uh, door lock with my elbow, shut the door, and walk out. And I did it, and instantly, in my mind, I could see my keys still sitting there on the workbench. Without even looking in the window, I knew that's what had happened. Well, I had had to use one of my picks to do something so I didn't have my picks of course the car opening tools are already inside and I had to call the owner on his day off to come bring me the spare set uh, mind you, this is three months of me on the job since that moment I have always carried two keys in my pocket now there was one other time years later when that didn't work out I had gotten a new brand new vehicle had only been driving it for uh, a month or two, and I and I didn't make that second key. And this is years later, you know, I'm not too worried about it. I'm on the way at the far end, my service area out in Gridley, and I managed to lock myself out. And I sat there, and I was like, do I call a tow truck and just play dumb? And, and then they never, never, or do I call one of my competitors that I'm friends with? And I'd been doing a number of favors for one of my competitors. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to call in this favor. And I called them and they were like, oh yeah, actually he's not that far from you. He'll head right out. Now I hadn't had my van marked yet with my name and stuff on it. So he pulls up and he looks at me and he says, you know, I bet you're really glad that uh, your van's not marked right now to see another locksmith pulling up to open up your lock. But uh, it, it happens to everyone. And I, every time I go out and I do an opening, I get a lot of times where uh, the the dad or the husband or the wife, you know, one of them is just ragging on whoever did it and acting like, how could you do How, you know, just really trying to drive in like like they've done some uh, incredibly dumb thing. But you know what? We all do it. My life is keys, and I've still done it. It's just something that happens. And some people, they, they go, you know, decades, they don't do it, and then it just happens. Um, and now with some of these cars that auto-lock, uh, it's happening more often. And so we get a lot of calls for that. But it's, you know, even even a locksmith sometimes needs... A locksmith. So, you know, a little bit embarrassing, but sharing it with y'all. Hope you're having a good day, and I hope you're not locked out because it's it's really hot out right now. It's 104. So, uh, hope everybody's having a better day than me. I'm I'm melting. 